Number nine, there was a major collision of an asteroid with the moon in medieval times. It was described by monks at Canterbury Cathedral in England as a red glow on and around the moon. How long after the asteroid hit the moon, which is three times 10 to the eight, so 3.8, what? 3.84 times 10 to the fifth kilometers away. As soon as you could tell, as soon as I see three, it's all speed of light, three times 10 to the eight. Okay, 3.84 times 10 to the fifth kilometers away uh, with the light. Uh, first arrive on Earth. So basically, right, it hits the moon. This light is then coming from the moon to the Earth. And it is traveling at the speed of light, and there's a vacuum right between the moon and the Earth. So you know that the speed here of that light is going to be 3 approximately times 10 to the 8 meters per second. You also know now the distance, right, but you know we need that in, uh, you know, you can also consider that to be the displacement. It really doesn't matter. So this is going to be 3.84 times 10 to the fifth, but you know we have to have that in terms of meters. So you got to then also multiply that by 10 to the third. So in other words, this would be times 10 to the eight, okay, meters. And now all you got to simply do is solve for time. So velocity is equal to distance over time. Cross multiply the time and the velocity, right? This is easy peasy. So there's going to be 3.84 times 10 to the eight, all divided by three times 10 to the eight. It's a basic cancel, right? So it's 3.84, 3.84 over 3. So it's about 1.28. So about 1.28 seconds, all right? So shortly thereafter it hits, you see it. Guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Hopefully this helps. And if it does, like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.